All right. So, uh, whichever one popping hit, the dog claws are going to save that one. So that would be. I think that was this one. This guy right here. Yeah. yeah. The little thing boy over there. That is a hit. And uh, this is not physical damage, I assume, right? Uh, yeah, that's uh, force damage. Okay. Then, uh, plain boy, poof, out of existence. And I'm gonna sacred flame the other one that's on her. Er, All right. Actually, no, I'm gonna move up. You... Well, you can't occupy the same spot as it. You know, body slam it. It, it's small, oh, but right. it's not, yeah. It's small, but it uh, still occupies its space. Yeah, and I forgot I hit the other one. Just smother it with your floof. <laughs> belly well, belly if, flop onto it. If you're an alpaca, your your uh, floof is flame retardant. Is Anything it? else, B? Anything else, B? Uh, cure spell. Okay. Hey. Third, real lifesaver. You deserve a hug after this. Oh, oh no. But you really want one. <laughs> oh, uh, is that 13 for me? Yes. Or... Okay, thanks. Alright, and then you can get the Alright, I assume that's everything B? Yes. Excellent. Ganbu. Alright, question. Um, how tall are the trees here? Um, let's say they average probably around, what's the average height of a tree, like 12, 15 feet? They're very you healthy know? trees. This is a nature campaign after all. Yeah, so these things are probably like, the tallest are probably about 10 squares. Oh, the druid's been casting plant growth. Jeez, 10 squares. Um, we'll say the, we'll say the tallest, the average hovers around, we'll say, 7, 8 squares? Okay, so I'm gonna move forward to this tree. Is that close enough? Sure. All right, Conversely, I'm gonna take close Converse... enough to its trunk so that I could like grab on or like not. Conversely, there's also a hut underneath. There's a small hut underneath where you can land on top of. Okay. Uh, how tall is that? The huts are probably all two squares tall. These are pretty small huts, as you can see. I it. I'll just land on top of the hut. No shigans no shigans for now. Uh no, your health bar shouldn't be visible because I didn't think to make everyone's health bars visible. Uh but it's right here. There. That should be visible. Okay, so the yeah, Emperor's gonna like open his mouth, he's gonna charge up sort of a firebolt, and he's gonna shoot two of them at the, uh, fire bike while harassing Poppy. That's a longbow, by the way. It's just flavorful. You're, uh, you're firing your projectile. Literally. And figuratively. Alright, roll for it. Um, I am sad to inform you that you've missed twice. Oh. Spare. Alright, that's my turn. Alright, that makes it this guy's turn. Oh. And these guys are fairly smart, so he's gonna come over here. Actually, he's going to. He's over here. Dip, 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 dip. There we go. Oh, hi. Hello. And, uh, he's going to attack B. Oh. That's no good. Um... The higher the two rolls was a 24 versus armor class. Yeah, that's gonna hit. Alright. Two. 14 damage. All right. And he runs over and slams into you, and makes an awful hissing noise. Oh! Uh. 
Was that the hissing noise? <laughs> that's that's oh, kind of attack he's got there. There we go. That, that, that should get. That should, uh, it's very. It's very. Didn't sound like fire. Whoa. <laughs> so, uh, that was the DM seeing how much of the health bar was missing from that. Yeah, I know she only yeah. has twenty health. Yeah, bees really squishy. Um, squishy. You mages. Right. She's not a mage. So, uh... Did, did, you get, did you keep throwing around, like, sacred fire? She's a cleric. Yeah. Yes. That's that's a type of mage. I know it's well, not. I, Clerics I, are known for being armored and hefty. It's, it's an armored well, mage. Well, you can, you can have an armored mage. I've made those. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a cleric. Mage is what it is. Uh, so it's this yeah, where's, where's this guy going? It, uh... What's it gonna do? How smart are these? Okay. It's going to, uh... It's gonna start laughing gleefully, and it's going to... Oh, set fire to that hut again. Oh. Gosh darn it. We just uh, fixed that. And then it's going to, uh, run over here. And, uh... Cactus, you want evens or odds? I want the odds. Don't tell me the odds. The odds are on your side. Very well then. Odds attacking you, even it's attacking uh, B. It's attacking Puppy. Woo! It's probably safer, honestly. Um, yeah, that's 13 versus armor class. Oh, wait, no. Are, are you, you're, you attack recklessly, right? Yeah. I think I did. Tilted. Uh, that's one point lower, so yeah, 13 versus armor class. Yeah, I'm guessing this is correct. It's uh, 18, I think. Yeah, okay. it's 18. So it attempts, it, it sets fire to the hut, and it runs over to you, and like, yay, yay, and tries to let you on fire as well. You go, but, whoosh. Um, I, I gave him a call. <laughs> Remember, I got, I got the eagle totem. That's, that's true. True story. Got the feathers. Alright, I'm feathery. Feathery true. fluky. All right, stabby boy, what you doing? All right, I'm going to need this one to stop attacking my friends. That seems like a good idea. And just get him twice. Ah, uh, you hit twice, because of advantage. I'm flanking, hooray. <laughs> boy, that rule's really, that rule's really working out for you guys, isn't it? Rogues, rogues are great. Wow! Right. <laughs> well, well then. Wow! That's nice start probably working so, uh, out for you guys. So, uh, I glitched? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, you can't discern where the anatomy of this is on these things. So I, yeah, I am trying to step fire, which makes it more awkward. But... <laughs> Where's the squishy bits? Where are they? Dang it! I'm just, I'm just poking it in the butt and hoping for the best at this point. Uh, but but the six is you realize I wonder about the mask. You poke it on the other side of the mask and it lets out like horrible like reaction. Like, oh, fire. <laughs> and then you're oh, like, that's ah, the part. I'm gonna poke the fire again and get it too. <laughs> the last one is like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> what well, moves? I mean, you know, you see, you go. Like, that's right. true. It's, it's, it's a tiny target. <laughs> um. Well, so so is the pancreas. So is the uh, pancreas. But, you know, you don't hear me complaining. <laughs> Um, right, is that everything there, uh, Stabby Boy? Yeah, I think I think that's everything I can do, honestly. Alright, Juno, Ju. Alright, I'm going- You can going... do it, Elder Juno. What? You it... can do it, Elder Juno. Uh, just, I'm... like, hit, just hit us with the tidal wave again. <laughs> yeah, sure, right down the line. <laughs> there's, there's, there's more fire. <laughs> no, just uh... Wash away. <laughs> Just wash away the weak and the impure. We I'm, need to cool off. I'm going to be sp uh, using a bonus action to healing word B, because she looks like she could use it. That is important. Oh, healing word. Her lovely spell. This is the third the word. Not, not this time. For six damage. Or, or, or health healing. healing. Not damage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, congratulations, your teammate I think just killed you. I never really was on your side. Oh. Yeah, the healing word is hello. Hello. 
And then I'm going to take a step back and then cast Thorn Whip on this evil bike wall. Alright, go for it. I love bad bike ones, that's my, that's my problem. <laughs> that's my kink. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, right, I'm sorry, I forgot. You take pleasure for stabbing with a guy. <laughs> I was wondering. <laughs> 24 uh, damage hit. So, is that is it for or before or after resistance? After resistance. Okay. That is a hit! Nice. He takes... Wait, what did I just do? <laughs> you thorn whipped him. Uh, apparently roll d6. Oh no, uh, I was supposed to roll 2d6, so let me roll that again. I was wondering why it was only... Just roll another one. I mean, 3 is a nice thing to roll on a d6, so... So four damage. <laughs> Good night. Oh, you you have the ones as well. All right. Four damage, and I yank him ten feet towards me. Oh. Oh my God! You're doing like the poppy oh. thing. To get him away from the squishy sheep. This is probably a good idea. I I assume since he was moved, I don't get an attack of opportunity on that. <laughs> nope. Dude, so. I've looked this up. Okay. The accuracy dice have been on your side. <laughs> If only I could apply luck to damage. Change the clan. <laughs> let, me do, let me qualify that. Some, right, some of the, uh, the D20s are on our side. Anything else do you know? Uh, no. All right, Poppy, it's all you. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do the same thing, but with less magic. You got a, you got two fire boys next to you in case you uh, missed that. Yeah, I know. Okay. I'm going I, realize that they're, I realize that they're small, and I was like, oh, I actually kind of missed it myself. <laughs> I um, remember. Is one of them, I is have one good of them close to dead? Is one of them what? Is one of the two dying? Uh, they both are fresh. Both are fresh. As in they haven't been hit yet. Eh, I'll, I'll drop my shield, throw my shield aside, t brass my stick in both hands. She and wait, go to town. is that an actual shield? <laughs> Yeah, it's an actual shield. Uh, you can't just drop a shield. Oh, I can't. Why not? Because it takes a long time to take off your arm. Oh, that's a problem. I... Huh. You can't just drop it. Mm -mm. What's the uh, What's the time? Is it an item interaction or? D and D offing a shield. That stuff together. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Well, uh, I guess I'll just have to stab him with my face. I think I will do that. Oh, right. see, armor and shield. Yeah. Thanks, Index. Yeah, a shield takes one action to take off or put on. Oh, that's. Let's carry on. Because like, because you're not just holding it and can let go. It's actually supposed to be strapped to you. Yeah, I'm just gonna just stab him with my face. Well, you definitely hit. Which one are you stabbing? The one below you or next to you? Uh, next to me. Okay. Eleven. Poof. You stab your heart into him. And that's that. What next? Oh man! Oh man! Uh. Um, okay, okay, OC. I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll this one like manually because, because doubling does not apply to this. Okay. Let, let. This is uh. Don't do not double this. This is what it is. This is what the damage is. Of course I roll like crap, but oh. still. Oh gosh! This, my face is vicious. <laughs> what? <is this? laughs> oh yeah, vicious weapon, yeah. <laughs> just, there's, just... A, there's a line. <laughs> there's a three twos and a one! 
plus a 12, so that kind of makes what? up for what? it. <laughs> I mean, you see, yeah, the, D, the D6s hate us right now. I don't know why. This thing has nine. Yeah. A, this thing had nine HP. It's in negative ten right now. If this was third edition. It would be dead. It explodes. No, it didn't, this is not multiplied. I know. I'm just saying. Like it's. <laughs> oh yeah, negative ten. Right? It's uh in negative ten right but now. But no one hurts my sheepy friend. She gave she gave me heals, and that's good. My, As, yeah, my new one, best uh, friend. Poppy's face is vicious because she always has a nasty expression. I mean, sometimes she doesn't. Okay, oh, well, she, uh... She's only vicious when she needs it to be. Well, that happened. Uh, what else, Poppy? <laughs> now you've viciously destroyed a little flame boy. Poor I'm gonna... Flame. Hmm. Is there anyone still alive? Oh, wait, there is someone still alive. Huh. Yep. Well... Nothing really I can do right now, so I just, uh, I guess I'm just gonna... Oh god, uh, things were really bad. Have you used your movement yet? Uh... You know, you guys got this in the bag, so, uh, give me a sec. <laughs> Alright. Just walk over there and stare menacingly at it. As, as Poppy just takes a seat. Oh, as Poppy just uh, goes running off. See you! Oh. Okay. You guys got this, don't worry gotta, about it. Gotta help the friends, I guess. And B takes an attack of opportunity. Oh. Uh, hmm? <laughs> <laughs> no one's alive! <laughs> yeah, B gets an attack of opportunity. Get, take your attack of opportunity. <laughs> Did you <Right>? disengage? Quick, <laughs> <laughs> your, friend, not hiding your friend's you. leaving, smack them. What, what'd you say, Necro? I guess I'm not hiding behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, is that everything, Poppy? Hey, I'm the one who's supposed oh, to run away gonna... really fast. Well, I want to I wanna run away somehow. I want to use that speed somewhere. Yeah, she just goes, she just goes running into the bushes. <laughs> ah, fine, fine, I'll cut. Guess, <laughs> guess what? That's I'll fine. It's fine. It's fine. Nah, I, I nah, I'll run back. Oh. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Funny enough, it might be arguably more optimal for you to have done what you've done, but it's too late now. Eh. Nah, right. I'm here now. All of your flame boys are dead, and you're dead, so you're off in the show. Yeah, the only, the only one that's left is uh, the... You're off in the show. The 16 there. Alright, B, it's your turn. Okay. So, I can still move my spiritual weapon over. Good thing to do. I should probably give you a token for that, shouldn't I? Maybe. That's a hit. Wow. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> <laughs> this, fight is, this fight is supposed to last this long? Jeez. And I mean, we're, we're winning pretty handily. It's if, just that it's, we are. If we were going to roll poorly on hits or damage, I would rather have the damage take the hit. True. Then he wins the race. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Another thing, about, another thing about Oh, it right. rolls that twice, too. Okay. And she hides. Okay. Uh, the nice thing about 13th Age is you always do damage, even if you miss. Mm. You, yep. should, you should do your level in damage. Huh. So... Fights are... But anyways, they're not about 13th age. Uh, moving on. Uh, is everything B? Yes. Excellent. All right, Dambu. Dambu. All right, uh, Dan's kind of getting sick of this fight. So what he's going to do, he's going to cast Hunter's Mark on the big fire guy. Wait. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then uh, he's going to fly over. He's going to hit him twice. Or Do you have a uh, iterative? It's is it iterative or a uh, or a dual wield? There's no like, iterative attacks in Five E. There's just the extra attack. Multi attack. Multi attack. Yeah. Um. I I used the bonus action. Wait. Hold on. <laughs> what you? Yeah. I used my bonus action to cast Hunter's Mark, so I only can take two attacks instead of three. Okay. So important. Too. Oh, shush, stars. Stars is a star person. Stars. 
You have hit twice. All right, all right. Watch this awesome damage. One and <laughs> one. No. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> oh gosh! <laughs> what, what, is what, is, what is this? I'm sorry. <laughs> this is I'm just sorry. like this is just silly. Look, Why? they're made of fire. They're hard to do damage to. All right. <laughs> okay. 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 Um. <laughs> That everything, Dambu. Or is there anything else, Dambu? He's going to start crying. Look, look, they're made of fire. They're hard to do damage to. Uh, Just don't no, get no, it. No, no, no. That mean I take fire damage now. <laughs> so this guy realizes. Let's see. Surrounded, surrounded on all sides. Uh, a whole lot of fire leaking out. Clearly, he should fight until until he dies. Glances around a bit. Where are you going, friend? Hello. You're you're not getting away from Poppy. <laughs> That's true. Uh, so he's spending his action to disengage. Oh, is he? Is yes. He yes. He doesn't understand PC shenanigans, but he's trying. <laughs> oh no, no, we have no sentinels in the party. Um, and he's actually dashing into this house over here. <laughs> and, uh... Spice spicing up Curry's house. Yes. <laughs> Too hot. And, uh, that is... Let that thing's turn. Hmm. Oh wait, yeah, I can go right there and then just hit him. This is true. I, I, don't, I don't even need to dash after him. Nice. So I don't get my uh, my bonuses, but. <laughs> but my rolls are really good. <laughs> You're attacking twice? Uh, I didn't use my bonus action. Two two weapons. Oh, okay, right, sorry. C carry on then. Yes, you hit. Congratulations. So I just won't do nearly as much damage. Right now I'm slash R in there. I'm oh. hoping, though, that he's almost <laughs> dead and we won't have to worry about it too much. Hey! There you go! I didn't know sixes existed until now. I got one earlier, I just got three ones at the same time. I mean, Legend- I, I love how- I love how my vicious crit got, like, twos. Yeah, it's crit. Where, where's this six go? <laughs> where's this six? Why does that keep happening? It keeps happening. Get out of here. I warned you about dice, bro. Get out of here. Alright. Is he dead yet? There we go. <laughs> Finally. Alright, give, 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 give me my fire damage. Oh, yes, yes, that's right, that's the thing, isn't it? You can take, uh... Oh, this guy doesn't ah. split? He, he does. He just... right. You take 12 fire damage, and I was in the middle of moving the fire boys over. So, sorry, how much fire damage? 12 is what I said, so 6. Okay. Ow. Alright, then these guys... Move to the token layer. Oh, you can't see that guy, can you? Uh, there we go. Mark him with a blue spot so he's easier to see. There we go. Alright. Oh, the blue spot is making, he's just, he's making him more visible, so. It's, this is where they are. Yes. Oh, uh, is everything? Uh, I think that's all I got, yeah. Juno. Juno. Uh, can I? I forgot his name. What is what is your character's name again? Uh, this is Zhao. Zhao, Zhao. Can I move through 
Zhao space? Is that something you can do in 5e? Um, I mean, I think so. I believe you can move through allies just fine. If not, I'm saying you can for this campaign. Cool. I'm gonna jump in between these two guys and take a swing at one of them. Okay. Left or right? Hit, hit the one on the right. I'll go for right. Right it is. I mean, I could probably make my way to the right with all my movements. But, but it's in the house. It's awkward to get to. Make your way downtown. Walking fast. This is fast. 13 to hit. And I'm on fire. That is a miss. I'm sorry. It's a miss. Mm-hmm. Um, well, then I'll use my bonus action to take another swing at it. Because pull okay, our master. <laughs> See? The druid pull our master is a good idea. I, I never argued. I was just... Okay. <laughs> it's okay. Oh. okay. All right. I suppose we should, probably should do this. Uh, anything else do you know? Um... Nope. Okay. Poppy. It's okay, Elder Juno. Poppy is here to the rescue. Uh, let me measure my stuff, so because it's important. All right, giving it the face stab. And not All right, like, go for it. Not like this spy does it, but you know, actually stabbing the face. I mean, yeah, face stab can have two different meanings now. That's it. One. What a surprise. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, um... Thank goodness this isn't Shadowrun. Uh, Alright, well, you, you stab it, and it, uh... It, it doesn't, uh, feel happy, but it's still there. A, uh, second attack, I presume? Excellent, you hit. Oh, wow. What an improvement. I mean, it is. It is technically an improvement. Well, one of them is dead. No, it's still alive. What? Uh, yeah, there's a, there's, a small, there's a small property that I forgot about that, uh, <laughs> that I'm implementing with these guys. Oh, are they resistant to physical attacks? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Of course. There's also another feature of that I forgot, but I'm actually ignoring that one intentionally at the point. But, uh, anything else, Poppy? Hmm. Uh, bonus action to move in a circle. Uh, I... A, uh, clockwise circle. Try spinning, that's a good trick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, B! <laughs> You alright, Yeah, I'm fine. That was, okay. <laughs> that was good. I liked it. Okay, maybe now more, it's easier. maybe more maybe maybe more than I should, but you know. Oh, oh, you made your own spiritual weapon. Excellent. Pretty much, yeah. They're gonna fly over at that one, but uh, then they wake out just before they reach it. It's the spellings. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it has been five rounds. <laughs> Oh. This has this has been a pretty long fight. Do something useful. <laughs> I'm glad this is uh, Yeah. Round. I'm going to use Sacred Flame. Sacred Flame? Um, closer one. Yep. Alright. What's the DC again? Fifteen. Fifteen. That is a nine. It has failed. Okay then. There you go. Alright. Oh wow. Good night! Uh, the, di so the dice are also getting tired of this fight. So it's at negative 20. Um, as I actually deleted it. It's gone. Where's the third D8 come from? There, It's just gone. Was it 3D6? No, I mean, where's, true, the third, are, where's the third these are D8s, come from? not sixes. D6s are the bad dice. Uh... uh Anything else, B? No, that's it. All right. 
That makes it, uh... Why do you why are the harsh time remembering your name? Dianbu. I have it pinned. I actually have the pins open on Discord, so I actually can't see what's being said in Discord because the pins are in the way, but I have to keep looking or, up that. Or check the character tab. Seeing the name. That's, that's okay. a high check. Dianbu, your turn. Holy crap, people are saying things. Uh, so there's just the one the that's the right thing left, right? Yes, just the one little thing inside the house. Uh, yeah. What inside you, the house. Yeah, because so I created this character at level 11. I'm gonna say you can't actually see it. From, like, you know it's there. But, you, but your eyes not. can't really get a line of sight. You're gonna have to actually get in that house. Or at least really close in order to affect it. Everybody pile in. <laughs> okay, I can't actually move that far. So... Oh, you're yeah. along with you shut, you shut the fly speed. <laughs> yeah, I do have fly speed, but like... Hello. I could move there. Oh, hey. Yeah, as you come in and, oh hey, there's a little fire boy there. Looking very yeah. eager to set oh, something wait. on fire. Oh god, do I have disadvantage if, um, I use a ranged attack up close? Uh, yes. yes, actually. Okay, screw it, I'm just gonna hit it. Thank goodness you don't provoke attacks of opportunity anymore. 5e is a simple is a simpler right. system for better and for worse. Oh yeah 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 if I you're right. One two three Oh no. Here come here it comes. With no advantage, you have hit twice. Which is unfortunate because one of those is a crit. Oh, what do you know? It's not. Hey, terrible. look, not not ones. Not 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 ones. That's true. Those are not ones. Curse right. has been broken. We are free. We're free. We did it. I love that song. All right, it's still alive. It's it's missing a limb or two, but it's still there. Anything else? Ah, uh, that's it. All right, it's turn. And it's gonna let out a little, love a little cackle. It's not funny. Stop laughing. I realize I forgot to do this. I realize that I, I probably shouldn't have, uh, I really shouldn't have cast whole person to start off this round after all. So darn the people there. There we go. Alright. As it reaches over and su sets something on fire. It may or may not have been a memento. <laughs> Out of spite. What a jerk. Um, it then turns and looks at the two of you. Uh, me, meaty, miny. That one hurt me. Thanks. I tried. As it uh, reaches forward to... Um, its attempt to pet you with its fiery... Poof has failed to protect you with the H versus your armor class. Alright! Party Rogue. Um, Finish it. Everyone, get in there. Everyone in the hut? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can finish this thing off. And Curry is like, get out of my house! <laughs> You're solving the fire. Right. In the fire, so. Those are definitely hits. And unless, like, Good. your damage goes horribly wrong, I'm becoming one. Oh. Hey! Look, it worked out. Alright, it took, it took two hits, but it's dead. Yes, finally! Now we should probably do something about these fires. Uh, Alright. Is combat over and done with? Yes. Combat yeah. is over and done with. Then I will um, immediately right. use Druidcraft to put out the flame. I'm getting out of this hut. Alright, that goes out. I'm gonna go ahead and remove these. With convenience. Okay, because that was gonna be my next destination. I end my rage. Hey, go ahead and move yourself. Go ahead and move yourself over there. I was just getting rid of them since we were here. Thanks. Is the nightmare corpse still in like the center of the room? Yes. Ah! Alright, cool. Um, that's actually probably yeah, the only corpse that's still around. That. Yeah. And, uh... and he's gonna try to cast cure wounds on it. What? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it 
that the Kiruin song? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's Village theme song. Oh, okay. Oh. There we go. Nice. It's quieter now. <laughs> I actually picked the theme song for the. I even picked music for this village because why not? Nice. <laughs> All right, so um, are you actually casting cure uh, wounds on it? Guess what? Guess what? B. Guess what? 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 I'm gonna cast cure wounds on it at level one. I'm gonna cast cure wounds on B. Can I have a cure wounds? No. <laughs> oh. I All can't right. see your health bar, so you're clearly not hurt. <laughs> clearly I have infinite health. So what happens, OC? Uh, so when you cast... Obviously it's dead, like this thing is dead, 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 dead. But when you cast it, you do see some of the wounds close up all the same. Uh, is it still on fire? Uh, no. Or did that go out? It's... We'll say, we'll say the pilot light is on, but that pilot light isn't... The pilot light. Okay. Yes, pilot. I should have done something. I should have done something more. Okay. We can cast security spell at the same time. If you join them together, that? you can cast Kiriga. This is not. This is not Final uh, Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. Okay. <laughs> I said we cast security spell at the same time. On you. Um, you can do. Danu, you said something, did you not? Yeah, he did say a thing. What was it? I should have done something. I should have done something more. Yes. I mean, we, sa we saved the village, didn't what? we? What more could you have done? Something. I agree. Something. There's always no, something. No one. That was your house. Here. I mean, all the villagers seem to be unharmed. That's that's pretty good. Did any of the yeah, villagers relatively. actually take damage from that one guy? A couple of them did. Well, yeah, well, a couple. Of them no, did. no one's dead. That's important. Yes. We we should we should probably. There were no casualties. Therefore, it's a success. I'm yes. just gonna have to. I'm just We're gonna have to sleep. Right side of things. So many alpaca. Yeah. I had to name each. And every one of them, I had to name them. I had to click the stupid little checkbox of show nameplate. Hey, don't you dare ask for So much play. work. They surround us. Well, the, well, the village well, I have marshal. a question before we go any further. Yes. Did it, it be like her hug? <laughs> don't touch me. Not especially. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good. Working as intended. The curry walks up to a Deanne and uh, stenches a, an elderly hoof. Thank you. Uh, I'm glad that such kind and dependable young people such as yourselves are willing to come to the aid of a small village. But oh, it was it was nothing. Huh, I'll do it any time. But this is strange. Why would creatures of fire be here? Because Ragnaros is awake. <laughs> she looks at the dream too long. Some very nice fire creatures, like these these fine folk over here. Where she, she, uh, met, she gestured towards the Longma. One more time? Sorry. I've met many friendly fire folk like these fine over here. And the gestures of, towards the two Longma. Speaking of which, um Remind me, did one of you two Longma, did you come from Oshan? Or wherever the Longma live? Uh in a roundabout way. Okay. Um Dan, did you come from where the Longmo were from, or did you come from somewhere else? I, I venture far and wide in my duties as a scout. No, no, I was asking. He, he came from there, yes. Okay. Because uh, the reason I ask is not uncommon for them to be born outside of where they're normally from. Anyways, she glances between the two of you, 
doesn't your Empress control the element of fire? Wouldn't something like this be within her grasp to do? The answer is yes, by the way. I mean, technically. Last time I checked, it was within her ability. But I have not been there in many, many years. Then perhaps she's trouble. Mm -hmm. I know the Empress. She would never do such a thing. Well, so they came from somewhere. And the only thing I can think of that could possibly do this would be your Empress. Perhaps she might offer some sort of insight? She could, she could. But it is many miles away from here. It is, it is kind of far, right? Mm-hmm. For flyers, it wouldn't be too difficult. But on land, it would probably take definitely at the very least a few days. Yeah, okay, so then that statement was correct. Well, we can't fly indefinitely either, so... I mean, I technically can, because oh, I don't okay. have to rest okay. between. Okay, I, I can't fly indefinitely. <laughs> you can go tell her. Yeah, I'll leave you. <laughs> go, get out of here. It's time to leave them all behind. <laughs> See ya. Oh, right. But there's little fire boys. Mm -hmm. They're supposed to explode and do damage when you kill them. Oh. <clears throat> oh, wow. That sounds very fun. Death throws are great. Like... <laughs> yeah, so I was like, ah, oh, I'm super sure it's not there. Moving on. See. So is that an ability you're going to give Wong? So I, just like... <laughs> I mean, Baigwong has it. Yeah, you'll need, uh, you'll need class trait. features to get that. Racial trait explodes on death. <laughs> Sorry, I will not. I will not have people turning along by the. But it's so cultural. I mean, never mind. I should. Not. So uh, about this fire horse. Were these? So were these creatures the problem you were having? We. Oh uh, yes, we saw fires, off towards the, entrance of the valley and. Well, fires in the jungle aren't very common. We didn't know exactly what was causing them, but we had a... I think it was time over there said he, he saw something. As a note, all the uh, paprika ones are young, are young ones, are youngins. All right. And ah, the... Okay. Right, and, and a shout out to Stars for the for, the, for Habanero and Cayenne and uh, Vindaloo there and, and Curry for providing uh, generic alpaca sprites. But anyways, uh, yeah, see, I believe he said he saw something strange. It's probably worth investigating. And, uh, she signals towards Time, who timidly walks forward and pauses at the giant corpse in the middle of the village. He's just a young little boy. A wee lad. Uh, time, can you, can you tell them what you saw? Uh, uh. As the party surrounds him. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm hanging back. No, I'm just kind of blocking his view of the corpse. <laughs> well, you are, are a we small dancing? sheep. Just, well, you are helping a little bit. Uh, actually, you know, make me a... Uh, kicks and gills, make a persuasion check. <laughs> well, there were people flanking me, and I was only coming from the corner a moment ago. But, yeah, okay. Yeah, um, well, I, uh, 
he, he seems to calm down a little bit. I... Uh... No, why have you done this? I, it was... I went a little north. I, I wasn't supposed to. And, uh... As Habanero and Kayan come storming forward. Yeah, that's right, you're not supposed to. What were you thinking? I, I just, uh, well, I... And, uh... All right, this is important information, though. I would like to hear what he has to say. Kayan goes to uh, offer a bit of disciplinary action and hesitates as you say that. I... I was chasing a root. It, it was so weird looking, and I, I, I just I wanted to know what it was, and I saw it wriggling around, and I... Well, I, I got out there, and all of a sudden I saw... Well, I saw what happened here. It's like... It's like this thing opened, and out came... Out came the, the thing over there that, that's behind her. Point to the flame horse that B is successfully hiding. Somehow. And that, well, well he, he's a small boy, and she's a small sheep. It kind of works. Just just fluff up. Easy. Yeah. Just inhale. Poof. Pump. Maximum. Uh, maximum. Uh, get, just shuffle on the carpet a bit. <laughs> <laughs> what carpet? Oh, wait. This bearskin rug over here? Yes, <laughs> bearskin rug. <laughs> that bear had emotions. That bear so had a bad lie. time. I didn't <laughs> realize that was part of the map until the very second. That's kind of put more trees on I, top I think, of it. I think there's more of them, actually. <laughs> I just found another one. Let's, uh, uh, let's come I was just like one shown over down, down here. This, for some this, reason. this is a very intense village. Yeah, they, yeah they're pretty hardcore. Anyways. That, that's a bush. There we go. And, uh... <laughs> just put the cover of its head. It's fine. <laughs> Anyways. And when it opened, well, I saw that thing come through, and, and those, those three things, and and then I saw it was ugly. It was really ugly. It looked like it looked kind of like you. Point at Danu. <laughs> no, sorry, at, at, at um. What a thing at, to say. <laughs> At Ziao. Because Ziao was the one who spoke with me recently. It's ugly. It looked like you. <laughs> what is it kind R of? R rude. Rude, but continue. No, that's not, I'm sorry. That's not what I... <laughs> his, his parents glare at him. I didn't mean he was ugly. I said he... Uh, like, a, like a long mop? Yeah, that, that's it. All right. How, how many things came through the... the whatever it was? The two parents look between each other, somewhat concerned. He looks down and scrapes the earth once, scrapes it twice. Then she kind of stops. Two? Uh. Well, it sounds like at least five, but... Or let me, let me rephrase that. How many did you see? Well, there's the big thing. The three smaller things. And then the really ugly one. How many is that? That's five. That's five? The two parents look a little bit embarrassed at this point. He's, one, he's anxious. I'm working with what I can get here. Two. Three. It's okay, darling. You can practice your numbers later. Yeah, uh, anyways, uh, so there was the really ugly long mop, and, and it said something. I didn't hear it, but it said something. And then it pointed towards our village, and I thought it saw me, so I, I got scared and I ran away. Hmm. Well, thank you. That information will be helpful. Come on, dear. We have numbers to practice. <laughs> sure does. 
Go, go count rocks. <laughs> you'll, uh, you'll, get, you'll get there eventually, kid. I know, I know one of you has a has high uh, perception. I have high perception. Um, I, also I have, have, I, have high perception. I have I have all the perception. As you hear them whisper to as you hear them whisper to each other, well, that was embarrassing. I I believe in him. He can ah, do it. Poor kid. He's only got four who's. He can only count to four. <laughs> he has a tail. He can figure it out. <laughs> He's also got two ears. You can't. Well, look yeah, at those, but that's yeah. just two. You, you count all four hooves, but if you start counting ears, you got to start over at one. But ears don't go in front of your eyes anyways. <laughs> Not with that attitude. <laughs> what kind of hard mode counting you grow up with? Jeez. Um. Uh, you didn't quite overhear that small comment. That's it. You, you, are, you are blah, 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 blah. You are actually casting speak with animals? Yes, I am. Okay, how long is it going to take? Isn't it 10 minutes for ritual? Yes, it's 10 minutes plus the original cast time. Yeah, it's one good. action. Also, right. look at me casting a spell as a barbarian. What madness is this? No, I'm what even casting it. I get it from barbarian too, which is the which is the funny part. Remember, the six seconds will make it, will make a big difference. I just imagine uh, there's a lot of yelling in Barbarian spellcasting. <laughs> Did Poppy ever yell that last one? Uh, uh, spell. <laughs> it's, uh, the... Well, she keeps screaming until she her screams sound like barks. <laughs> it's, there's not actually a spell being cast there. It's just... Ten minutes of Poppy. Doing very, like, doing very th weird things with vocal cords. Roaring at the top of her lungs until she sounds like a dog. But clearly that's what it is. Just imitate a lion. That'll be fine. Wait, what? What? <laughs> Why are you trying but to that aside? Yeah, what, what animals are you trying to talk to? Oh, oh, yeah, the, the puppers I, were... I guess that's true. They saw the it's things true. too, right? It's true, the puppers do count as animals. And there are, I of heard course... One. Bork! <laughs> there yeah. it was! It's working! I just realized that the... Uh, the, the oh, good. Song good. The, yeah, the, the music. I've been, Gotta have that. I've been, subbing in, I've been subbing in my own music in the meantime. Yeah, my window is open. It's probably barking because it's hearing me shout it. <laughs> he wants to get involved. Keep it down. Make him a character sheet. He can so play Poppy's, it as the dog. So while exactly. Poppy is casting her character sheet, what are you guys going to do? We're not. <sighs> wow! Where did that come from? Poppy <laughs> is casting her ritual. Is there anything you guys want to do? Um. If I want to do, if I wanted to examine this thing, what skill would I roll for that? What, what options you, do I have here? I'll give you two investigations or two medical or medicine checks. I just um, um, two, two. Yeah. You know, I'll go with, uh, I'll go with uh, investigation. All right, so that's you're, that's what you're doing. Um, yep. B, what are you doing during this time? Uh... Or should I say, is there anything particular you want to do when the 10 minute kills? Probably not. Alright. Diambu, is there anything you want to do in particular? Um, I'm gonna go try to talk to Time some more. Alright. And, uh, Juno, is there anything you want to do? Um, not particularly. Checking injuries, maybe? Alright. Uh,. Kamino and, and Kayan looked like they had a, a bit of had some wounds, and Pixie and Cornrow also took a bit of, took a little bit of a hit. All right. I mean, Poppy's hurt, but that's nothing new. So uh, I, got, I got kind of singed. You'll be fine. Walk so as you, I'm, so I'm as doing you, that. Uh, you think that's holding me back? Well, as you get closer to Pixie and Cornrow, they look at they look up at you, a little apprehensively, and the dogs, you know, get a little excited, a little protective. They don't actually attack you; they just yell. They're just barking at you really loudly. Bork. And uh, you see that they both have some nice scorch marks right through their floof and onto their skin. A little painful. 
As you chase down time, uh, Cayenne and, Hab- and Habanero t- turn around and look at you. Um, yes? Um, I'd like to speak to your son, if that would be okay with you. Uh, right now? Well, I mean, I can wait. It's, it's, it's really no big deal. Uh, what do you want if I might ask? Uh, I'm, sh- I'm sure he's seen some things, some very traumatic things. I wish to comfort him, if I may be allowed. I've seen some things, man. Dude, he's got PTSD Grant, now. Grant and Habanero uh, turn to look at each other a little apprehensively. Roll me a persuasion. Okay, then. Um, they sort of shrug, well, I mean, he's clearly, you know, he's clearly used to this sort of thing. Perhaps having some perspective from uh, someone who's dealt with monsters on a normal basis might help. Well, he could use a strong male role model in his life. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Go right ahead. <laughs> Have an arrow, um, sort of humps, rumps off. Uh, y- yes? Ah, uh, I just wanted to say, uh, if you're feeling scared or, um, uh, concerned about things, I just wanted to let you know that we, we all feel the same way when monsters and things come into our lives it's it's very jarring but it'll be all right i promise but but you all were so cool like you didn't you weren't scared at all you you just ran up to that thing and and beat up it there's no way you feel scared we all feel fear child it's just some hide it better than others Uh, Meanwhile, he's still kind of shaking in the distance. The bravest um, of us all. Give me. Um, uh... Dianbu kind of like ropes like the mask on like the right side of his face a little bit, as if remembering something. Uh, give me a persuasion with advantage, please. Um, he, he ponders your words for a minute and then looks up at you. What happened? I will not make that reference. I will not make that reference. I will not make... What's wrong with your face? Dang it, I made that reference. Uh, an accident. It was stupid, really. I just, uh, Lava and me have a bad history. <laughs> it was a... I took a dare. Did you just say love? Lava, it's a, uh... It's, imagine... Water, but it was orange and... Very, very hot. He sort of scratches his head a bit and... The mother pipes up. Oh. Looks at him. He's talking about lava, darling. It's... He, she sort of looks over at Dan as if not entirely sure of her words. Like, it's really hot rock. Hot enough that it's like thick water, right? It's water that, that's made of fire. That should. But it's also a rock. Yes. It's also a rock. I, I never was a much of a studious person myself. I am. But... Correct, if I remember correctly. Time looks like he can't quite comprehend the concept. I mean, Cayenne looks a little unsure of herself, but he sort of accepts it. And I think he's like, boy, I wonder what that looks like. Does it look really cool? 
It's uh, it does look uh, spectacular, but from a distance, from a distance, to be sure. I'm gonna say a ritual is too is too. Like you can offer small comments, but you can't engage in actual conversation. Yeah, I'll I'll just say I've always wanted to see lava. I I bet it's very pretty. From from a distance, yes. She wants to well, swim I mean, in it. I'm sure you'll see it someday. No, no, Juno, not. I don't. <laughs> I, I don't know if that's a promise you want to make. Well, where would I have to go to see it? You'd have to go to the volcano, honey. And it's far too dangerous. Time looks a little sad. Anyways, thank you. She turns and... Here we go. Looks at uh, Dan Boy. I appreciate what you've done for my boy. It's, it's no problem at all, ma'am. No, if you'll excuse me. The time here needs to, uh, needs a few minutes to himself. And it's no problem. And then he walks away. And I'm gonna go ahead and say that's probably, uh... Unless anybody wants to do anything else. I'm gonna say that uh, uh, there's enough time for like, uh, talk I... to the... What, what I'm saying is... I'm gonna say that's probably enough time for the ritual to have concluded, unless anybody anybody else wants to do like one last little minute, one last little, uh, or any last minute, whatever have you. So we're I'm, ending session. I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for the results of my investigation roll. Oh yes, thank you. Uh, we'll end session soon enough, ish. Uh, so your investigation roll. Is there anything in particular you're looking? For? Um. I guess I'm trying to figure out, like, what this thing is, see if I recognize it against, like, anything I've encountered before. Hmm. Okay, fair enough. Upon investigating it, you recognize that it once was a horse of some kind. I mean, it still is, kind of, but... Well, it used to be. Happened... It used to be a different thing. What has happened is... You don't have any magical... You don't have anything. You don't have anything inherently magical about your character, correct? Uh, race, racial stuff notwithstanding, no. Is there a move? I think I removed one with magic from Longma. Are you? Yeah, no, I don't. I don't, I don't have. I don't have one with magic. It's just that they do have like fire breath and magical flight and stuff. But okay, are so you using, using, using the the new Longma? I think so. In that case, um. And re really, have... it's so the whole idea here is. Uh, Zhao has ventured far and wide and seen a great many things. Then how does this, com you, how does this compare to past experience? You can tell that this once was a normal horse. You can tell by the way the flight have interacted with its skin, the size of it. A lot of things are wrong with it. You've come across this sort of thing before. If you imagine a plant... That has managed to implant that has managed to implant itself into an ungulate and take control of its body, which is a thing in this world, by the way. Hmm. Oh, yeah. it, I've seen that but, too. But instead of a plant, it was fire. That's probably closer to what this would have been like. Alright. So Fireworms. Whatever happened to this horse resulted in it having a bad day. Yes, several times over. In fact, upon close examination, you're pretty sure that it was probably insane. Not a good way to end. By the way, uh, B, the puppy's love. <laughs> Excellent. Aww. I, I, I watched you move around, and uh, hmm. I figured I'd, I'd mention that. All right, uh, your ritual's complete. You can now bork with the best of them. So, I'm going to go over to the doggos and, uh, uh, I'm, she, she's not used to this. She's, again, she's a druid in training, as you can see. She's, uh, not used to talking with animals. 
So she goes up and says, uh, um, uh, wonderful weather we're having? The dogs look at you a little surprised and, uh, convey their agreeance. They're very excited and they're very happy with weather, but they're a little scared. I also say, uh, say hi to B. Oh, uh, hello. B is just, hello. yeah, B has hello. just been playing with them. <laughs> the puppies are very happy. They, they say nice things about her while she's playing with them. Uh, These dogs seem to adore you. Well, I am used to it. She looks down a bit. Oh, you poor little thing. You must have had such a hard time during this. They express discomfort, but at the same time, they they basically acknowledge that because their his cornrow was near him, they were too scared. And the reason I'm not giving them a voice is because they speak very simplistically. Yep, yep. So it's easier to give you an impression of what they're saying versus actually saying the words because it would be like this really awkward like word by word kind of thing. Are you I uh, asked the uh, the other sheep, are you Conro? Sure I am. Your dogs have a lot of respect for you. They say they felt safe during this invasion because they were next to you. Well, we've been together for a long time. We, uh, erased most of them. Their mother is off in another village, and, uh, well, they've been here with us, my sister and I. They're right, Pixie. Pixie sort of rolls her eyes. I don't see the family resemblance between the two. Quiet, you. <laughs> Male, standard eye or generic sheep sprites are incoming. <laughs> when they come, I will use them. <laughs> Same with white muzzle up there. Um, well, white muzzle is, a, is an actual reindeer. Oh yeah, he looks like a legitimate real reindeer. Well, he is a legitimate real reindeer. It's <laughs> a really old one. Oh. <laughs> look, look, generic sprites income. We have some of them. Um. That said, the picture she said. Sorry, I just don't... I don't get dogs. I didn't get animals for a long time in general. It's only... I've only just started to train to... to understand them better. Well, the problem I have is... every sheep I've known who raises dogs, they always seem... I don't know... clumsier and weaker. The week is not the right yeah. word. It just, I don't know. It feels like they, they just kind of depend on. Corner looks up and smiles. You should try it sometime. It's great. Yeah. I give her that, uh. That, uh. <laughs> oh god, stars, why? Yeah. Not stupid, by the way. They just speak super simply and like Shatner dialed up to 12 <laughs> good so now I do kind of want to hear the voice no. <laughs> hmm. I see well I don't know They're, everyone is hiding little you know little hidden gifts I don't feel I, I feel I, you have to have things to do, and she heads into the hut. I should go. <laughs> I was about to follow. I, uh, I take out the branch that's still got a bit of char on it, and then I play fetch with the dogs. Alright. Uh, the two, I suspect the two of you play with the dog while... Um, and, uh, is there anything else I want to do before we go ahead and call the session? I don't think so. I think that's all. <clears throat> nope, I don't think so. My next plan would be to check out the site, and that'll require a map change. Alright, and, um, 
before we do, Curry asked the group, oh, what are you are you going what are you going to do next? Personally, I, I think you should go back to, as you you should go speak with the Empress. Something might be wrong. Oh, something is certainly wrong. It's just a question of figuring out what. I wanted to take a look at the site where these things came in. According to time, there was one more individual, wasn't there? That is also true. It was ugly! The ugly and he, individual. And he, seemed, and he seemed to be leading the other four. Indeed. She! It... Uh, no. It, it until otherwise determined. Uh, it, it just was determined. I mean, the kid's the one that saw her. Yeah, I guess that's true. Well, all right, so... Go ahead, sorry. Um, sorry. Go ahead, Dipel. Uh, I, I think we should go to the site. It's probably closer than the Empress anyways, right? Much, much more so. And if we're talking to the Empress, we'll want to be able to give a full report. Yeah. Yeah, that. All right, so is the party in agreement to check out the site next time? Yeah, it would be yeah. good to try and drag him down. I assume Perfect. the Longmen know best about their Empress and what she would want. Empress. 